using a virtual machine to pair your Android Wear smartwatch without a dedicated Android device. What is up guys, this is Jeff Benjamin. I'm going to show you how to set up an Android virtual machine so that you can pair an Android Wear smartwatch without a dedicated Android smartphone. So I've loaded up Parallels here. You see the Parallels wizard. What we wanna do is we wanna double click where it says download Android free like this. And now we wanna click the download button in the bottom right hand corner like this and it'll download the Android 4 Experimental. This is over 100 megabytes, so depending on your connection speed, it may take a little while, it may be quick, just be patient while this downloads. It shouldn't take too long. Now, while this is downloading, let's talk about this file here. This is Android x86 4.4 rc2.iso, and I'll have a link in the description of the video showing you where you can download this file. Now, you will need to go ahead and download that now so that you can have this ready because we're gonna use it in just a little bit. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to set this up as a virtual CD drive, and then we're gonna boot from that CD drive to continue the installation. Uh, so just keep that on your desktop, save it to your desktop, and we'll wait right now for the Android 4 experimental download to complete. Shouldn't be too much longer, about a, few, a minute, less than a minute remaining. Um, so just be patient on this. And we should be done momentarily. This whole setup process literally only takes, you know, probably less than 10 minutes. Uh, so just be patient. All right, now it's unarchiving registering. All right, and you'll see it go away. You may have to click the little parallels icon in the bottom left hand corner or wherever your dock is, and that will finish the uh, setup here. And then you'll start Android just like this. All right, now you're going to be on the lock screen. Actually, what you're going to do now is just, you're just going to shut it down. So we want to click the little, uh, power button here in the bottom left hand corner, select shutdown. You'll need to do it again to confirm your shutdown, just like that. And now we wanna click the little settings cog in the bottom right hand corner, and then click where it says hardware at the top, and then choose where it says CD DVD one, and then click the connected button, and then choose where it says connect to, and then choose where it says choose an image file, and then go to your desktop or wherever you happen to save the Android x86 4.4 rc2.iso file, select that, and then click where it says open. All right, now go to where it says boot order, and then choose where it says CD DVD, and then click the up button to make CD DVD boot first. So that's all. So just close this out, and then click where it says Android 4 Experimental, click to start. All right, now you should see this screen, you wanna use your arrow keys to go down to the last option, installation, install Android x86 to hard disk, and then press the return key on your keyboard. You wanna select the first option, SDA1 Linux, press return. You wanna select the second option, EXT3, press return. You want to select yes, so you wanna press return. All right, it's gonna format, just be patient. And you wanna select yes, so just arrow over, press return, and then select yes here, press return. And this will install. Okay, so Android x86 is installed successfully. So you can just press okay here, hit enter. Now you're gonna see this screen. And you're probably wondering, did I mess up something? Did something go wrong? Well, no, nothing went wrong. All you need to do right now is hold the control key on your keyboard, hit the alt key to exit out of the uh, virtual machine so that you have control over your mouse again. And now you wanna click the little uh, power button in the bottom left hand corner again and select shut down and then do it again to shut down. All right, once you do that, you wanna click the settings cog again in the bottom right hand corner. And then you wanna select the CD DVD under, under the boot order section, right here, boot order, CD, DVD, press the down arrow button, click down arrow, move down, so that hard disk is the first boot option, because we wanna make sure it boots from the hard disk now, or the virtual hard disk. And then click the X button in the upper left hand corner. Now click start again, click to start. All right, now you're gonna see Grub, and you just wanna select the first option or just let it wait there and it'll automatically boot up into Android. So there we go. So it's actually working now. <laughs> um, yeah, so just give it a few seconds and you'll be able to go through the whole Android setup process and um, hopefully get to pair your, uh, your Android Wear smartwatch.
Okay, so this will take a while. So now you can just go through the setup process. United States, yes. I'll just use my mouse. The mouse is kind of, well, actually really fast. Tracking is kind of off on it, but just be patient. Now this should be sharing your, your network connection so you don't need to set up any kind of Wi-Fi network or anything like that to get this working. Um, but it's probably gonna prompt you for that anyway. So just let it run. This honestly is probably the longest part of the whole setup process, just waiting for Android to get set up. Um, the actual installation of the virtual machine is really easy as you saw. Okay, now it's gonna ask you to select Wi-Fi. You just skip that because you're already connected. Skip anyway. All right, yes, you have a Google account. I'm just gonna put in your Google account credentials. All right, so now it's signing in. And I just uncheck all these options because there's no need for that. Um, so it's kind of tedious with the mouse. When you scroll down, uncheck communication. All right, and then click the right arrow button. And then click right arrow again. Click right arrow again. All right, now click OK. Click OK. Click your little menu button here. Uh, click OK again. <laughs> click where it says Play Store. And now we're going to search for uh, Android Wear. So Android Wear. And then hit Return. And then just download Android Wear. And click Install. Click Accept. All right, that should download. It's about 22 megabytes, so it shouldn't take long at all. So it's installing now. All right, now just click where it says Open. Update the Google app on the Play Store, okay. <laughs> so now it wants me to update the Google app, I'll do that. Accept. This is a little bit larger, 37 megabytes, but again, it shouldn't take long at all. Almost done. Installing. All right, now we can just go back to our home screen. Now the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and enable Bluetooth. So to do that, we wanna hold the control key and the option key again on your keyboard to release the keyboard. Hit the little settings cog here in the bottom right hand corner and then choose where it says USB and Bluetooth and make sure you check, check where it says Bluetooth devices and then you can just close out. And now what we wanna do is just simply restart our virtual machine. So hit the little power button and we're just gonna shut down. Power button again, shut down. All right, now click to start again. And then just let it sit here. Grub will automatically boot up into Android x86 4.4 RC2. We have everything set up now. Android Wear is installed. The Google app is in installed and updated. And once we come back up, we should be able to go to settings and enable Bluetooth here. So you see the Bluetooth icon there in the upper right hand corner, that's positive. So just basically click here and drag down. Let's see if we can do it again. Click here and drag down, there we go. And then click where it says settings, and then click where it says Bluetooth. Bluetooth is on, and there is my Android Wear device right there. Um, available devices, so just click on that device. You see it, G-Watch, and it is pairing. Pretty cool. Um, all right, and then just type 0000, I believe that should work, one, two, three, four and click OK, and we're paired. All right, so now you can see I am loaded up the G-Watch or the Android Wear interface. I'm gonna enable notification access, and yeah, so that's it, folks. Super easy, right? Less than 10 minutes, we were able to get our Android Wear device paired with our virtual machine, and now we can bypass that initial setup screen on your Android Wear smartwatch.